Okay. Right, so today I'm factoring by grouping a polynomial that has four terms. This polynomial has four, and terms are always separated by a plus or a minus. So I can tell that this has four terms, and when I group something, I always group the first two and the last two. But really, I want to group the two terms that have the most in common. And in this case, I have an x cubed and I have a 3x squared. Over here, I'm going to have my second group. I have a 2x and a 6. So looking at the two groups that I have, I always try to take out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor. And that's basically what the two terms have in common. So looking at these first two terms, what do they have in common? Well, they don't share a number in common, but they do share some variables in common. Exactly two x's, right? So I can take out two x's, I take out x squared, and I'll be left with something on the inside of the parentheses. So what am I left with? Well, I just took out two x's. I'm trying to get back to three x's, so I need one more x to go on the inside. So I'm going to put an x there. Next, I see a plus in between, so I'm going to bring that down. And then over here, I'm trying to get back to 3x squared. Well, I already took out an x squared, so I don't need any more x's, but I do need this 3 to come down. So I'm going to bring down the 3. And there you go. The greatest common factor was x squared, and I'm left with an x plus 3 in parentheses. I'm going to bring down my plus that's in the middle, and then I'm going to work on this group. So for this group, what would the greatest common factor be? What do these two terms share in common? Well, they share a 2 in common, right? Because I can divide 2x by 2, but I could also divide 6 by 2. So it seems like they have a 2 in common. So I bring that outside of the parentheses, and I'm going to have something left on the inside. Well, what do I need? I'm missing the x, so I need to bring the x down. The plus is going to come down with it. And then I need to figure out what I need to multiply 2 by to get back to 6. And of course, I need a 3, because 2 times 3 is going to bring me back to this 6 right here. Okay? So the greatest common factor for that group was a 2, and I'm left with an x plus 3. So inside the parentheses, notice that we get the same thing. They're both going to be x plus 3 on the inside. And when you're factoring by group, you want whatever's on the inside of the parentheses to match up. Because if they don't match up, that means that you made a mistake somewhere and you need to go back. Okay? So as long as they match up, you can continue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the GCFs in parentheses together. So whatever's on the outside of the parentheses, they're going to go together. So I'm going to have x squared plus 2. And then whatever's inside the parentheses, they're going to be merged into one copy. So beside this, I'm going to have an x plus 3. So that's factoring by grouping. And what you'll notice is once you get down to the bottom right here to your answer, there's nothing I can factor anymore. So this is completely factored. Let's look at another example just like that. For the next one, I want to do 4x squared plus 2x plus 6x plus 3. So here, just like last time, I have four terms. That's usually a sign that I have to do factoring by grouping. And the terms are either going to be separated by a plus or a minus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the first two terms together. And I'm going to group the last two terms together. Now what do the first group have in common? Well, I can divide both of these coefficients by 2. I know that I can divide 4 by 2. I know I can divide 2 by 2. So I'm going to take out a 2. But also, they both share an x, right? So I can take out 1x. So 
So then what's going to be left on the inside? Well, I need to get back to 4x squared. I just took out a 2x. So I do need another 2. So I can multiply 2 by 2 to get back to 4. But I also need another x. Okay. So now I bring down my plus. And then I need to figure out what I need to multiply 2x by to get back to 2x. Well, since they're the same thing, I only really need a 1 right here. So that way, 2x times 1 will bring me back to 2x. Now I bring down my plus sign, and then I have to figure out what these two terms have in common. Since they have a 3 in common, I can take that out, and I'll be left with 2x plus 1. And that's great, because the inside parts are going to match up. So I'm going to underline these just to show you that they match up. That means I can continue on. So the last thing that I do is I take whatever's on the outside and I put them in parentheses together. So I'm going to have a 2x plus 3. And then the inside parts are going to merge into one copy. And I'm done. So that's factoring by grouping. Whenever you have a polynomial that has four terms, that's a really good sign that you have to use factoring by grouping. So I hope that helps you out.